today we're going to be taking a look at some things that are mildly infuriating. Uh, the first thing that is mildly infuriating is is this subreddit that I'm getting getting all this stuff off. L look at this. I have to highlight the words to be able to read them. Player got kicked from a professional esports team because his mum was in the final stages of her cancer. Uh, kicked because my mum was on her last days and they assumed it would affect my performance? I already knew for some time that this day will come. Since she had stage 4 cancer, she passed away. Oh man. Imagine being fired from a job because you are about to lose a loved one. What team is this? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What team is this? That, also, that's not mildly infuriating. That is that is incredibly infuriating. What team is what team is this? I I don't know who this this team is. Team SMG. I mean, they look like losers. You have better things coming in your future, Michael. You, you don't you don't need Team SMG with three thousand followers. Hotel owner who threatened to keep my deposit because I left a bad review threatened me with the police. I don't know what this cut this exchange here is. Um, but I, anyway, we should ignore it. Remove your Reddit post or everything will be turned into the police, including your registration info. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm not sure that's how it works. I don't, I don't think it's illegal to post a bad review of a, of a hotel. I'm a teacher. My student told me her grandma died. Uh, so the teacher texted this, this kid's mum. Hi there. I just wanted to reach out and send my condolences as Anne mentioned her grandmother passed away yesterday. Sending love. No, she did not. Both her grandmothers are alive and healthy. To be fair, you, you got to rate the hustle. You got to rate the hustle of trying, try, I don't know, I'm guessing they were trying to get like days off or something. You got to really you gotta respect the hustle in some way. Is it a bit immoral? Yes. But you gotta respect the boldness. <laughs> the $10 salad I paid for at a restaurant. Huh? <laughs> what? That looks fucking awful. That looks vile. It looks like, it looks, it looks like rabbit food. Yeah, that is literally rabbit food. What? Wealthy people raise 60 grand to stop homeless shelter from being built. What? <laughs> what? Why? What? 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 What kind of downside does building a homeless shelter have? Received in the mail from a concerned neighbor. Congratulations, you mowed. That's twice so far this year, I believe. Can you keep it up maybe weekly or at least every other week? Your neighbors would be very grateful if your house did not look like it was abandoned. Weekly mowing your Weekly? Weekly? I don't even fucking clean my room weekly. That's such a short weekly. How much fucking free time do you expect someone to have to mow their lawn weekly? That's like bottom priority job. I found this in my bag of Cheetos and I have no clue what it is. That's, that's not mildly infuriating. That's just, that's just interesting. I wonder what it tastes like. The big flat Cheeto. Wow, how interesting. It looks like flesh. I was in the Bahamas playing my PS5 when a strange feeling came over me. The sun was beaming, birds were chirping and I was happy. But something didn't quite feel right and I couldn't put my finger on it. So I spent the next two hours pacing up and down the beach, calling everyone on my contacts, asking anyone if they knew what was wrong. But no one could help. I felt lost, alone. I thought I had everything in the world, but there was just one itch that couldn't be scratched. I trudged back to my bedroom and as my final tear ran down my cheek, I heard a strange noise in the distance, a humming noise getting closer and closer. I look out the window and oh my god, it's future George Mabulous. Without saying a word, he hands me a message in a bottle. I smash it on my head and read the message. Boss Factory is free to download. Now, Eureka, that's it. I downloaded Boss Factory on my console for free and created my dream boss. I was there for hours going through the different customization options. I could create literally anyone I want. And now I have my character ready for the new game coming out in August. Crash! Oh no, his hoverboard broke my computer. Not to worry, Boss Factory can also be downloaded on PlayStation, Xbox and PC at saintsrow.com. Be sure to share your own Boss Factory creations and let me know so I can see them. And thank you to Saints Row for sponsoring this video. The median annual pay during the Great Depression was 22% of the cost of the average home. Today's is 14%. That means that pay relative to home cost made it easier to buy a home during the Great Depression than right now. This is absurd. And it's only gonna get worse. I'll tell you who I feel sorry for. The next generation. They're never, they have a 0% chance of owning a home. Like, Gen Z's have, like, a, a, a very slim chance of owning their own home. Like, buying it themselves with their own money and not, like, inheriting it. They have a really slim chance of being able to do that. But the next generation? Fucking hell, that is gonna be impossible. I think we're gonna end up going back to, like, how it was in, like, the Middle Ages. I think it was, like, the Middle Ages, where only a few people owned all the property in England. I think we're going back down that route. Maybe not as extreme, but maybe like a few tens of thousands of people own the majority of the property in the country. It probably is already like that, to be fair. Just had a mosaic tile floor installed. That's cool, but it's it's scary and confusing. I think I'd get vertigo walking on that for some reason, even though it's not like at a, a height. I feel as though I'd, I'd feel that fear of heights walking on it. Be me sitting in my car having lunch. Watched a woman hit the pole, called police on me, claimed I moved the pole to cause her to get into an accident. Had to stay for an hour while the incident was... What is there to investigate? Whether you picked up a pole that is impaled into the ground and shoved it into her car.
Uh, I, f I kick the little fucker. I boot him so far. Like, you didn't pay for that, you little dickhead. It's not yours. You can't just walk up to other people's games of, of, of Punchy Machine and use it. Fuck you. School is charging $50 to repair this small scratch. What the fucking scratch? That. $50 for that. 50? Now nah, you're getting mugged off. How did they even notice that? Cleaning balloons after the party. What the fuck? Ah, oh, ah, oh, the fish, ah, oh, the fishes and the turtles, they're gonna eat it and they're gonna die and it's all your fault, yacht man. Fucking dickheads. This is just average yacht owner, doesn't care about anyone but themselves. Dickhead. Wait, what? TikTok of Dolly sets Margaret Hills on fire just for a few seconds TikTok video. Huh? What? Imagine risking a forest fire, potentially destroying people's homes and animals' habitats for a Fucking TikTok. You don't even make money from TikTok. Why do it? Not that making money off it would be all right, but it'd at least be like some kind of some kind of rational thing that you're trying to obtain through it. Like TikTok views mean fucking nothing. I post the fucking worst TikToks in the world and I get like half a million on each of them. TikTok views mean nothing. My brother vacuum sealed with the only scissors in the house. Who the fuck vacuum seals stuff in that? Is that like a is that like an American thing or something like vacuum sealing things? Why did he vacuum seal your scissors and a s just one spoon? My girlfriend's brother decided to stab holes in my shoes for no reason. He is 26 years old. Yeah, that is a bit weird. I mean. I mean, if, even if they were like seven years old, that'd be a bit strange and I'd fucking definitely boot them. Gave specific easy to follow instructions on how to deliver to my unit. They decided to just leave the delivery in the main lobby. Make sure you don't leave it in the lobby. I am disabled. I can't go get it. Yes. <laughs> To be fair, like, this has happened so many times. Like, whenever I try and instruct, like, I don't know, like, like delivery drivers or people delivering parcels how to, like, get... It's not a particularly difficult building to find. It's just like, yeah, yeah, go to the address written on the on the thing. Once I had a delivery driver just leave stuff in the street. And it wasn't even my street. It was just, like, an adjacent street. They just left my package there. My kid got a box of onions instead of nuggets in his Happy Meal. He should feel lucky. McDonald's onions are very nice. They're cut so fine, they're just... Mwah. They're great. <laughs> I asked my girlfriend to cut the potatoes in half. Those are teeth marks. Is your girlfriend 10 years old? What, what the fuck is this? Oh, neighbours moved out, took their cat's collar, but not the cat. Oh, they're fucking dickheads. Oh, what, what, oh, what the fuck? The cost of slipping and falling in your bathroom for Americans. 42, 42 grand. But imagine having like a fairly common accident and going bankrupt because of it. How do you lot live over there in America with like a peaceful minds? I'd be fucking terrified every time I did anything in case I got injured and had to pay some fucking vulture of a hospital 50 grand. Our school's public computers. That's not mildly infuriating. That is just funny. <laughs> the fucking hero shopper energy drink. The paint on my apartment window is still peeling. Turns out it's marble that they... Why, why would you do that? Why would you paint over marble? It's so much nicer. You could probably rent out that flat for more if you've got like a nice marble surface. <laughs> a teacher in Texas is giving A's to students that buy his book and leave a five-star review on Amazon. You have to you have to respect the grind. You have to respect the hustle. Oh, he's even going to download both books, flip through to the end on Kindle. Is that like the ebook equivalent of watch this video till the end? Give both five stars and write a good review. Take this to fucking... I, I gotta respect it. It is slightly fraudulent, but I gotta respect it. How to find out how old is a tree. That awful grammar, by the way. But anyway, if you know when the tree was planted, you can easily and accurately determine its age. Is that actually what comes up when you Google it? Yeah, no, it doesn't say that, but <laughs> anyway. $100 worth of groceries. Fucking hell, where are you shopping? Yeah, you've got... Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, let's have a look, let's have a look. You've got steak, uh, and steak can be quite pricey. You're just hitting that there, you're just hitting that there. Thought I wouldn't notice. But to be fair, $100 for all that is pretty extortionate. My salt crusher broke over my food. What the fuck kind of fucking dinner is that? you got, like, popcorn chicken, a, a sausage roll, and some chicken. What the fuck kind of dinners that you deserve that? There's, like, no nutrition in that whatsoever. There's more nutrition in fucking dirt. Also, why, why the fuck are you adding salt to this? Salt to like fucking popcorn chicken and a sausage roll, some other chicken. So, are you adding, you're adding more salt to those things. Yeah, you deserve it fully. What are the comments saying? Are the comments saying you deserve that? <laughs> Beige food, the cornerstone of any nutritious meal. My sister started eighth grade and it's all on Zoom and today she got in trouble because she got up to get water during class. As she's getting yelled at, she looks at me and says, how this bitch gonna tell me I can't get water in my own house? That's a fair point. It's a fair, fair point. Glass pot lid exploded in to the pasta. It's just extra crunchy now. Don't be a pussy. Okay. It's a cool... Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, no, you're just fucking it up even more. You fucking...
stupid machine. This is why this is why the machines will never take over. So just these stupid things like this. The desktop of a guy at my work. To be fair, my desktop is very reminiscent of this. I had someone come over the other day and be like, well, how the fuck do you work on this? I don't, it's because I don't use my desktop. I don't use any, everything on my desktop. I just, I don't use it. I don't use it for anything. If I need to find anything, I just use the search bar on my computer. Two stars. I never went there. Sorry, you never visited us, but gave us a two star rating. Yeah? And fucking what? She can do what she likes. All these are space gray according to Apple. I know it's fucking annoying because I got a blue, I got a blue iPhone, right? And I got a blue iPad to match, but the shades, they're slightly off and it, it pisses me off. Had not eat a thing all day and dad bought home McDonald's. Took one bite and wondered why it was so true. Yeah, that's not, that's not even mildly infuriating. That's, that's incredibly infuriating. Most of these things aren't, on, on this subject, aren't mildly, they are, they are, um, fundamentally infuriating. A pigeon managed to lay an egg on top of my anti-pigeon spikes. Nature always finds a way. How's it fucking manage that though? And why? Why Why did it decide, oh yeah, the safest place for my baby is gonna be on top of pigeon spikes. Not a very clever pigeon if you ask me. RIP the dollar menu from McDonald's. Never forget what they took. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, Reddit user just discovers inflation for the first time. To be fair, they, they, it would still be profitable if they sold it at these prices, just not as much. Because I went to this place in Spain and it's, it's it's called, um, I think it's a chain, it's called a hundred sandwiches, but in, in Spanish. I don't know what that is in Spanish. And you get, it's like little sandwiches like that, like little baguette type things. There's a hundred of them on the menu and they're one euro each. One euro each. And a pint, a big like jug of beer thing, that was one euro fifty. It was, it was limbs. They spelled diploma wrong. How does that can happen on, on a diploma. Right, anyway, guys, we're gonna leave it there for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in a bit. Bye.